In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can greatly improve your match defense against trip side in. We're gonna give you a concept today that's really effective for defending this formation. Now, um, real quick, I just released a major, major defensive guide in my Patreon membership, my Big Nick Lober G. It's almost two hours long and there's more content to come. We've got incredible pressure from this formation great run defense and also it has some really unique little things that you can do with the coverage from it that make it the best defense in my opinion in the game and so if you want to learn my full big nickel over g defense i'm going to put a link in the description to my patreon membership it's only ten dollars to sign up for it the cool part is you also get all of my madden strategy guides all my exclusive weekly pro tips and stuff like that so if you want to get access to all that Again, there's a link in the description. You can hit it um, and it'll take you, or click on it, it'll take you right over to the, to the Patreon page where you can get signed up for it. But just wanted to show you a concept out of this and I'm gonna walk you through why, it's kind of interesting how it works this year, but um, we're going to go ahead and come out in the cover four palms um, or put these two in our audibles. But the play that I'm actually going to show you today is LB Blitz and, and show you a concept that you can use that makes this a really, really good match coverage. Whenever I run um, Big Nickel over G against Trips tied in, I typically just put my auto alignment to default. Um, you can leave auto flip on, you can turn it off, it's up to you. Um, but what you'll see here is when I have this on this right here, you see this is going to be a nice little alignment for us. now. Um, the other thing that I want to show you really, really quickly against this is, um, and that's why I like typically to auto flip, and I'll show you that real quick, because when we auto flip, what you'll see is a safety will actually change sides. So if I go to auto flip and then put that on default, um, I might have come out in the wrong play, but this might work anyways. Yeah, I did come out in the wrong play. Um, but basically what will happen is the safety will now come down typically when we show blitz i'm pretty sure so let's show you this real quick so yeah well i guess not whatever but anyways you see the concept okay so this guy right here is kind of a wild card player we'll get to him in just a second this is your safety on the side that when you show blitz he comes down into the box um from a pressure perspective we're fine here um i would like this safety to come down and i'll talk and we talked a little bit more about that in the ebook um but it's fine okay most important piece of this is I just want to go to cover four quarters real quick and I'll show you, you see they move, they change um, where they're at, we'll have to base align it. Um, this guy still comes up, which is really nice, but the big problem with cover four quarters is this. The crosser to circle, for whatever reason in quarters, it doesn't really match it the right way and as you see, he gets open. What's interesting, and if you go to palms, it's the same thing. So. It's not, they're not the same defense, but this, in this feature of it, it's basically the same result. So you'll see here, this is one of the most popular trip side in concepts in the game. And you'll see here, this guy actually played him okay, but by and large, that can get open, okay? Why I like LB Blitz is because we're still gonna match this. Um, we're still gonna basically match it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Stokes on the inside quarter. He's our safety on that side. We're gonna put Douglas on an outside quarter. Now, the way that you get those adjustments is by using the slot corner package in Big Nickel over G. I've talked to done videos on this, so you, you guys should know this by now. If you don't know it, just comment and I'll show you how to get it. Um, but anyway, so you see that these, these two zones here, so you have an inside quarter here and an outside quarter here. So just like cover four quarters. What's really the major difference is, you'll see here that this inside quarter will absolutely bag circle on the crosser of course he still caught it but you see he's right there it is man 22 so you can only do so much this year but anyway so you have that and then the other thing that i like about this is the big route that kills match um is a corner route to circle so if they run this concept right here this is the best match beater in trips in my opinion with like a backside curl this quarter on the left will basically take away that corner route every single time as you can see right there so that's taken away now the other thing that i want to show you that's really interesting this is another really popular concept and what you'll see is this backside quarter on the left quarter will do a really good job at playing this deep post 
over the top. Now, wasn't quite able to play it fully there, but again, you got a better, a little bit of a better player there. He'll be fine. Trust me. So what this does is it gives us what match defense is all about is, you know, again, where are the threats and how do we hang with them? In this formation, the biggest threats are these two guys here, the outside receiver on the left, and then this guy. And then lastly, the biggest threat, of course, is the tight end, which we'll come to him in just a second. So we can just do this right here. And the one thing that you will see that I love to do with these back backers is I'll typically take Adrian Amos and put him on a purple or curl flat zone. So we're going to have a purple zone there. And then I typically like to use her Alexander and put this guy right here on a curl flat. And then on the left side, we'll typically do like a vert hook and a three rack. So we got two guys blitzing um, that are, they're going to shed really well with the zones that we have here. Got really nice little underneath coverage. And really the only thing we need to worry about is the tight end post route, which I'll cover it right now. So you'll see right here that the one route that can still get open, and I haven't found a zone that really does a great job of matching it other than this hook curl or three red. This tight end route, they have a really good tight end. He can still get open against this, and I'll show that real quick. So what we can do here is we can you know, drop both our linebackers in curl flats and then maybe do something like this, okay? This is the best defense I've found for trips tight end. The beauty of this is the curl flats will take away everything underneath. So any slant, any motion slants, anything like that, you've got it with the purples. You got the quarters for the man coverage on the crossers, really do a good job against crossers and posts. Now this right here with the tight end route, that's the best route in this formation. You see, if you have a good corner, good fast corner there, he can sometimes bag it out of this specific coverage. I haven't found very many man coverages where this guy plays really well against a, a tight end, but in this one, from what I found, and, and again, the show blitz alignment from Big Nickel is so critical, but it does a really good job. Now, the one thing that I want to quickly point out is, let's say that you want to be able to send pressure. My favorite blitz is this loop blitz from LB Blitz. So I'll show you, try to get a good example here. So we have this, this concept, and again, I'm messing up my angle, but you see here we have this loop blitz, okay? We've got quarter, quarter, and then this guy's in man coverage on the number two receiver. So now on the back side of this, what I like to do is take this guy, and you're gonna drop him into the underneath zone, so the, not the, not the curl flat, I'm sorry, but you're gonna drop this guy right here, Smith, into the curl flat or the vert hook. You've got this guy in the curl flat area, and then now all you have to do from a user perspective is if you see anything coming back across your face from like a tight end or something, that's primarily where you're going to hang your hat user-wise. So if you get something like this, this is a really, really good play. Um, you'll see the pressure, it'll shed quick, and really the only thing you need is that. Now again, that loop blitz is a little bit better if they don't play action. Um, but they're going to have to put the running back in a route. So let's say they put the running back on a route and they give you a look like this. Um, a lot of times from this formation, I have just found that, you know, again, you kind of got to tinker a little bit with the blitz angle, which we talk cover this a little bit more in the ebook. Um, but basically what you should see here, if I can get this blitz angle right, maybe. <laughs> um, but what you should see is if they send their running back out on a route, it's actually an advantage to us. Um, so, you, you know, they give you a look like this. A lot of times this loop will come around the edge just like that. And you're going to still have the really good coverage on those three receivers. So there's a lot more that I can unpack here. We unpack all of this in the Patreon. But this is kind of the core concept that will really help you bag trips tight end. Um, it's one of the best coverages in the game. And it's really, really good against trips. It's trips tight end defense, but it's also like um, it's, it's really good against any trips formation that is spread out. Really, really good. So... Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the full big nickel over G defense, I would really, really encourage you. If you haven't learned any of my defenses yet this year, this defense is the culmination of everything that I've done over the course of Madden 22. And it really highlights all of the concepts merged together to create a really, really effective defense. So if you want to learn the entire defense, there's a link in the description where you can click on the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you'll literally get everything everything got over 25 ebooks including our big nickel guide um, so if you want to get access to that just hit the uh, hit the link in the description below and you can go check out that patreon membership thanks for watching we'll see you later